Uh, good afternoon. Uh, so my PhD, it sheds light into the uh, integration of interdisciplinary knowledge to map the vulnerability to floods. It shows how participation of local stakeholders can help not only to increase the acceptance of the results, but also its quality. And in order to do so, I use a case study in Takari Antas Basin, which is located in Brazil. And in a first step of my PhD project, I did a literature review, which is highlighted in the footnote. And it showed that uh, of uh, all the dimensions of risk, vulnerability uh, of the local community is often, often ignored. And even when vulnerability is considered, there are several problems. The first one is that participation is usually fragmented. So critical aspects, such as the selection of the indicators that should be included, it's uh, constrained to researchers. And there is a very low transparency. And because of that, uh, what usually happens is that uh, research on flood vulnerability that is uh, conducted at the academia stays in academia, because local stakeholders, they do not trust it. So the main goal of my PhD project is to integrate uh, the knowledge from different fields and from different, uh, different expert stakeholders to create uh, flood vulnerability maps that are uh, trustful and uh, that also reflect the local uh, reality. And to do so, uh, a total of 101 experts uh, from the entire Brazil were considered in the project. So uh, a series of uh, workshops, uh, focus groups, uh, questionnaires were used, and their knowledge was used uh, in all steps, from the selection of the criteria to the validation of the methodology. And uh, in the end, a total of uh, 46 vulnerability scenarios were developed. Uh, these were then displayed in a web GIS platform. And uh, so the stakeholders, they could see their scenarios and they could compare with the scenarios of other ones. Uh, and uh, in the uh, validation questionnaire, I got uh, very good results. So 89% of all participants, they were very satisfied with the transparency of the results. Uh, but most importantly is that 100% of them, they found that the results are useful or very useful for their professional activities. So this indicates that they are, they are really willing to use their results. So in a nutshell, uh, the core development of this uh, vulnerability index, it led to a shared understanding of the problem, an enhanced credibility of the results, and also some degree of mutual learning. So what I, you can learn from uh, this experience is that if we as researchers, if we want our m vulnerability models to be used in reality, the knowledge and the opinion of uh, the end users has to be considered. Thank you.